Apostle Tiffany D. Giles of the Diocese of Everlasting Life International Ministries, and I welcome you to our 30 minutes of power-packed empowerment. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Listen, we're listening to the sounds of Maverick City. We do not own the rights to this song. Once again, we do not own the rights to this song, but we just enjoy the praise and worship that God has given to these young people. I tell you, it's motivating and encouraging. Amen. We want to invite you to take this time to like, 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 and share, share, share as we get ready, uh, our mouths and our hearts ready to receive that of what God has for us. Amen. And so take this time, take this time to invite all of your friends, your neighbors, your co-workers, your, your Facebook family and friends. We love to see you guys worship with us this evening. And once again, I am Apostle Desini Tiffany D. Giles of the Diocese of Everlasting Life International Ministries. And I want to welcome you to our 30 minutes of power-packed empowerment. It's designed to uplift you, motivate you, and encourage you as you go throughout your day. I tell you, we are excited. We are excited. We are excited about what God is getting ready to do in this hour. We can't be prouder to be a part of the greatness that God is going to do for the Diocese of Eden and all of the saints that are involved with us. Amen. And so we want to just glorify you and honor you. Amen. I'm just taking this time to share the broadcast with my friends and my neighbors. I don't want anybody to miss what God has in store for them because we got a word this morning. Amen. Or should I say this afternoon? And I'm just here to encourage you. I'm just here to encourage you to let you know that God is all right with me. Amen. For he's been good and his mercy endures forever. I tell you, he's been just great to me. I, I can't tell you anything else but just to share the goodness of Jesus. Amen. He's been an awesome Savior and a kind-hearted friend. And for that, I want to just tell him thank you. Amen. And so please take this time to like, like, share, share, share. For those of you who are just joining us, I am Apostle Destiny Tiffany D. Giles of the Diocese of Everlasting Life International Ministries. And I just want to welcome you to our 30 minutes of power packed empowerment. Amen. It's designed to uplift you, motivate you, and encourage you as you go throughout your day. Listen, take this time to invite friends, neighbors, co workers, your Facebook crew. Amen. And let them know that God has a word for them. Amen. Come on, in about two minutes, we're going to. Continue to listen to some of these sounds of Chandler Moore and Maverick City. Amen. And then we want to invite others. Let's take this time to like, like, and share, share, and share again. Because how many of you all know you can't be what God can do for you? Amen. And so we just got to take some time to get to know him, to get to know him. We have to take some time to reach out to him and spend time with him because God is still blessing. Amen. And how many of you all know that you can't bless God's giving and that the prayers of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. And so we bless him. We thank him. Amen. 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 So come on, let's take this time. At this time, let's take this time. Amen. To like, like, and share, share, and share again. If you are just joining us, I am Apostle Desiree Tiffany D. Giles of the Diocese of Everlasting Life International Ministries. I want to give a shout out to everybody who's listening. I thank you so much for your support and your encouragement. Tonight we're going to be coming from Philippians 4, 19. And we're talking about the season of He Shall. Amen. We're talking about the season of He Shall. Knowing that during this season and during this time that God shall provide all of your needs i tell you i'm about to get excited and, and tell too much before time but listen you still got time to tell a friend a neighbor a co-worker a family member your facebook crew that god has a word for them tonight amen we're going to give people about one more minute just one more minute to sign on sign on one more minute to sign on amen you don't want to miss the word of God in this season. Amen. And I want to thank God for all of you all who have joined me this evening. You joined me tonight. I want to thank you all for signing in. And for those of you who have joined me, we're excited about this season. Amen. We're excited about what God is getting ready to do in this season for his people. A lot of you all, the, the light looks a little dim. And I hope tonight after we have finished ministering to you that you'll be able to see when you cut on the light that the light ain't dim. Amen. 
that God is still in the blessing business. Amen. And I want to tell God, thank you for all of those who have just joined us. Amen. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start with prayer. But we're coming from Philippians 4 and 19 this evening. And once again, I'm Apostle Desiree Tiffany D. Giles of the Diocese of Everlasting Life International Ministries. And I just want to welcome you to our 30 minutes of power packed empowerment designed to motivate you uplift you and encourage you as you go throughout your day father in the name of jesus we bless your name this evening we glorify you and we honor you in the matchless name of jesus god we lift our hands to tell you thank you because you've been an awesome savior and a kind-hearted friend and tonight we want to just say thank you jesus for your goodness for your mercy for all you've done for us god we thank you god in the mighty name of jesus now god i pray that I will say something that will edify these, your people, God, that will encourage them and motivate them to continue on this path with you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. I tell you, I'm just excited about what God is doing. I'm excited about the word that God has given to his people this evening because it assures me that God definitely loves himself, some of his people. Amen. It assures me that God is still in the blessing business. It assures me that God still got my back. Amen. So Philippians 4, 19. And the word of God says, and my God will... And my God will, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. And as I was studying this word, I began to talk, think about all of the people in the word, all of these many men and women who gave their lives to serve our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Even before the Messiah hit earth, we've got these great men and women who gave their lives to God, to serve him and to honor him. Amen. And not only did they give their lives to the Lord, but they taught others about his goodness and his mercy. And so in this scripture, in, in the book of Philippians 4, we see that Paul is ministering to the people in this book, uh, that, that Jesus comes and, 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 you know, he's giving the people encouragement in the book of Philippians, the fourth chapter. And I come across, come across this very uh, uh, familiar verse when it says, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. And during this time, during our right now time, during our present time, we've got a lot of things going on in our society. You know, we got a lot of things going on uh, in our history. You know, we've got people that are being dumped in various different uh, places in the country that are immigrants. We've, we've got the monkeypox. COVID is still on the rise. Uh, we've had the bird flu come down and visit us for a minute. We've got so many things going on in our history and and our and, and time like this in our world. Queen Elizabeth has just passed. It's just so many tormenting things, not very great good things that are going on in our world at this time. But yet God still has assured us. He's still telling us that it doesn't matter what may come. It doesn't matter what may go. It may not matter what's going on at this time. I'm your God and I shall supply all of your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Come on now. That's a word for you. That's a word that we could just say, okay, it's over. Let's pray and go on. Because God has assured you. God has let you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that your needs are going to be supplied. Oh, you ought to give God a hand clap of praise right there. You ought to tell God, thank you. But Paul writes this epistle. And he writes it to the Philippian church and he begins to encourage them in this particular chapter to let them know it doesn't matter if the world is crumbling around you. It doesn't matter if things are falling apart. Our God that you've chosen to serve shall supply every one of your needs. And so we praise and we thank God for his seasons. And so tonight we're going to be talking about the heat shall season. Now we know that seasons are particular periods that, ha that happen in a time of our year. And we know that uh, on this earth during this time that we have four seasons that come on earth uh, in the 
in the natural. So we have winter, spring, summer, and fall. Those are our four seasons that come to us in the natural sense. But in the spiritual sense, our seasons can come whenever they want to. We can have good seasons, bad seasons, whatever kind of seasons. But during this season, during this time, God always shows up and he provides. So it does not matter what season that you may be in. Know that you are in the season right now of the harvest. Now, how many of you all know what a harvest? A harvest is when the when the land is plentiful, when things, when crops have yielded good fruit, and we can go out and we glean the fields, and we have experienced many things. We've experienced much. And so as I begin to study uh, different people who've gleaned things, who've given things, who've gone through things, that have gone through seasons that have may have required much, then God has showed up and he's always made a way. Amen. And so I want to tell you that some of us during this time, during these tumultuous times, during these times of upset and bad things, of losses, that God still said that he would supply every one of your needs. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care if it's cancer, if it's financial problems, if you've just lost your job, if you're waiting on money and they feel like they just won't release your money for nothing and they just keep t sending foreclosure letters and all kind of crazy. You've lost your children. You've lost your, your husbands and your loved ones. God says, even during this season, I'm still going to supply every one of your needs. And so I began to look at the book of uh of uh i was in the book of second corinthians the 12th chapter and i studied three people uh and, and the first person that i want to talk about is apostle paul and i sure hope i'm able to get to the uh the other particular characters that i study but this particular apostle paul he began to Ask God in 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, and I do believe it's around the ninth verse. This is either the seventh or the ninth verse that he begins to ask God, you know, God, I, I, I've got this thorn in my side. I'm in pain. Uh, a lot of theologians say that it's the pain that uh, he experienced some sickness that he experienced when he fell off the horse, when he had his Damascus Road experience. Other theologians say that it's something that could have happened a long time, a longer period of time. Maybe he had been older. But whatever the situation may have been, Paul was in pain. And he besought the Lord three times. Oh, come on. Three times did he beseech the Lord. Amen. And asked God to take this from his side. To take this thorn from his side. And God told him three times. Three times. No. No. My grace is sufficient for you. And in another version, it says, no, because I'm here with you always. I'm never going to leave you. So during this season in Paul's life, God began to tell him that whatever you need, whatever you're looking for, whatever is in place that will make this pain subside, I'm here and I'm never going to leave you. And that's the word of encouragement that I want to leave with the people of God tonight. That no matter what the pain is, no matter what season you may be in, no matter what you may be experiencing that may just be down out rotten, that may be causing some type of pain, heartache, brain ache, love ache, side ache, heart, whatever it may be, physical pain in your body, mental anguish, whatever it may be, God says in this season, in this time, Philippians 4, 19, I will supply all of your needs. I'm not going anywhere. I haven't left you. But through the pain, can you still love me? Through the pain, can you still stand for me? Through the anguish, the ridicule, being talked about, being stabbed in the back, will you still stand for me? Will you still love me? So that's the word of the Lord for tonight. So I want to ask you a question. On a scale of 1 to 10, where's your pain? I don't think any of us have been in the situation that Paul found himself in. I mean, my good God Almighty, he was on a boat and was caught in the storm. How many times had he been jailed? How many times have, had he been chased and beaten and, and just downright just messed with? I mean, how many times had Paul gone through what he went through? So on a scale of 1 to 10... Where's your pain level? Is it so severe and so great that it would cause you to turn your back on God? Is it so severe and so great that it would cause you not to believe that he is the great I am that I am? 
is it so full of pain? Is your body so full of pain and your mind is so messed up? You're having thoughts of suicide and craziness. Is the pain so severe that you would take your very own life instead of depending on God to be your deliverer? So on a scale of one to ten, where is your pain tonight? Some of you all have experienced some crazy things in the last three to four years. Some of you all have lost some things that were dear to you. Some of you all have just gone crazy over these past three to four years because you feel like you just can't get a break. Well, I want to encourage you tonight and let you know that the pain was a part of the plot that birthed your purpose. I'm going to say that again, that the pain was a part of the plot that birthed your purpose. I want you to let you know that despite of the pain and the anguish, despite the frustration and the anxiety, that God will turn your grief into gratitude. It's your he shall season. And so we all know that the mouth is the mixing bowl of faith. And so we ought to begin just to walk around the house and begin to tell God, he shall, God, you shall meet all my needs, God. He shall supply everything that I need. Thank you, God. You shall deliver my children off of crack and drugs and off of the street life, God. You shall make a way out of no way for me to keep this house. Oh, God, you shall make a way, God. You will be my Jehovah Jireh through these times. You will be my Jehovah Rapha through these times. You will be my Jehovah Nisi through these times. So the one thing that I learned from Paul in this scripture, that no matter how severe the pain may be, no matter how rough the road was, uh, that I'm still going to lean and depend on God because he's letting me know in his word that I'm still going to be your provider. I'm still going to be everything that you need, no matter what it may look like, no matter what it may have cost you, I'm going to be your deliverer. And we know as we continue to read these chapters and we can read, continue to read in the book of Philippians that God gave him a way of escape. That he allowed him to live in a place of plenteous where he had servants and maids and he was taken care of during this time. So I want to let you know that this is the season of he shall. That whatever you stand in need of, whatever you may think you need, God is there. Just keep believing and then accept how he does what he does. Don't, and you know, they used to tell us, don't look a good, a gift horse in the mouth. So when God provides for you, when God gives you the healing, when God delivers, when God brings you out, God, when God gives you favor, don't miss it because you're expecting God to do it one way, but God has chosen to do it his way. Don't stand in the way of the blessing. Don't miss what God has for you because you've already figured it out. God does not need you to be God. God needs you to believe that he can, he will, and that he's able to do what you ask him to do and then receive and accept how he does what he does. So that is the word of the Lord for you all this evening. Once again, for those of you who are just joining me, I'm Apostle Designee Tiffany D. Giles of the Diocese of Everlasting Life International Ministries. And I want to welcome you to our empowerment session. It's set up, it's designed to motivate you, encourage you, and uplift you as you go throughout your day. Welcome to the He Shall season. I don't know about you, but I begin to just tell God, thank you for the He Shall season. Because I know that God shall supply every one of my needs. Be blessed, be loved. We love you. We will be here next Wednesday, next Wednesday at 6 p.m. And we'll be dropping more nuggets on you, 6 p.m. on Wednesday evening. And then join us Saturday mornings, 10 a.m. for our Elam of Buffalo broadcast and 11 a.m. for our Elam of Atlanta broadcast. It won't be nothing but a blessing for you. Listen, if I've said anything or done anything in this broadcast to edify the kingdom, to motivate you and encourage you, then you can support us through your givings. You may cash at, cash app us at dollar sign E-L-I-M-B-U-F-F. -F. That's dollar sign E-L-I-M-B-U-F-F. 
B-U-F-F. Listen, beloved, we're going to Jacksonville, Florida. We'll be in Jacksonville, Florida in October. We'll be there for affirmation sat services Saturday morning at 11 a.m. We'll be at the Philippian Community Church that addresses 7578 New Kings Road. Once again, that's Saturday, October the 8th at 11 a.m. And the address is 7578 New Kings Road. We'll be installing our new bishop and be affirming our apostles. And so we're just excited about the greatness we're excited about the great things that god is going to do in the lives of his people so please join us please join us 